Now I am going to teach you how to draw the, the circuit diagram of half wave rectifier. In the case of uh, any rectifier, alternating current that is alternating current and alternating voltage that is to be converted into direct current and direct voltage that is AC to be converted into DC. So for that the circuit diagram to be drawn here this is the source of alternating voltage this is a symbol of AC first we have to draw like this. So these are all the two terminals of the AC here this alternating current and voltage source that must be connected with a primary end of the transformer are you clear now we are going to use one step down transformer so here i am going to draw one step down transformer so this is this is nothing but primary of the step down transformer the number of turns must be more are you clear and then after drawing the primary of the transformer to mention the insulated sheets we have to draw these two lines understand the meaning of each and everything you can easily draw this so primary is drawn that primary of the transformer that must be connected with the alternating current voltage source are you clear so these two are the ends of the primary of step down transformer so you can write it as primary p for primary here in between the primary and secondary there is no contact both are separated by the insulation that's why the two lines are drawn since it is step down transformer what we have to do we have to draw the secondary now compared to the number of turns in the primary the number of turns in the secondary must be less are you clear now this is nothing but which one secondary of the transformer so the primary insulating portion and then secondary everything is totally that should be called as step down transformer now here this end these two ends are nothing but a and b if more amount of voltage is given from here for example 230 volt ac is given that could be reduced to clear across the secondary compared to the voltage across the primary the voltage across secondary will be very less number of turns are also very less are you clear now the most important uh, component in the half wave rectifier is diode are you clear we have to draw the diode a single diode must be used the diode it plays a vital role are you clear how to draw the diode here we have to draw the bigger triangular part this triangle that is nothing but p end of the diode this is a symbol of the diode and we have to draw one another line also this is p end of the diode this is n end of the diode are you clear so p must be in this side n must be on the other side can you understand the point so diode is drawn after drawing the diode this n end must be connected with a load resistance the purpose of connecting the load resistance is the output dc output that can be taken out with the help of by connecting the resistance this is called load resistance so here this is a symbol of the resistance wherever the output is taken such kind of resistance is called load resistance that is called rl are you clear so this is the circuit diagram usually the this end will be positive and this end will be negative that's why this is grounded instead of uh, writing negative symbol you can draw the grounding symbol are you clear so this is nothing but diode diode is very important component in the half wave rectifier 
here only ac input is given ac input is given across the resistance across the resistance we are able to get the output that output will be obtained in the form of dc are you clear so the output voltage that can be obtained in the form of dc so the input will be in the form of ac input voltage the output voltage will be in the form of dc direct current will be passing when direct current is passing through the rl across the rl you will be getting the dc output voltage so ac is converted into dc in this circuit diode plays a vital role the input voltage may be greater when it is allowed to pass through the transformer across this the voltage will be reduced here also across the two terminal a and b we will be getting this input in the form of ac for example across the two end if 230 volt is given i will draw the diagram here across this two terminal if 230 voltage is given 230 volt ac is given if it is a step down transformer transformer of 6 volt across this two end the output will be 6 volt ac across this two if it is a 6 volt transformer means across this two terminal we will get 6 volt ac this 6 volt ac will be converted into 6 volt dc are you clear so this terminal will be always positive this terminal will be always negative the working nature of the circuit will be explained in the class okay just i have taught you how to draw the circuit diagram of half wave rectifier if you draw this one you will get uh, around 1 to 2 marks in the exam okay just few minutes back we have drawn the circuit diagram of the half wave rectifier now we are going to draw the input and output waveforms of the half wave rectifier in the input we are supplying ac voltage that is alternating current and alternating voltage in the output we are able to get the dc so we have to draw both input waveform and output waveform in parallel form don't draw the input and output separately first i'll draw the input how to draw the input we have to draw the y axis y axis must be drawn and then x axis must be drawn i'm drawing the x axis here you have to mention time time must be taken in x axis and voltage input voltage must be taken in y axis here zero is the origin are you clear in the case of voltage that voltage it varies sinusoidally therefore we can write vi time so the sinusoidal waveform of the voltage must be drawn just for reference you put the marking here it will be easy for you to draw this is for peak value this is for zero again this is for peak this is for zero this is for this is for positive peak this is for zero this is for negative peak again zero so how to draw the single wave now here you mark the voltage peak value on either side look at the variation sinusoidal variation of the voltage look at here it goes to the positive peak after reaching the positive peak it comes to zero again the voltage increases in the negative direction in reaches the negative peak again the voltage is reduced to zero so like this the sinusoidal wave must be drawn put the marking so it will be easy for you to draw just i have drawn only one wave la draw two more wave only then the picture will have some clarity this is for the next peak this is for zero you have to draw the dots in equal intervals 
this is for 0, this is for negative peak, this is for positive peak, this is for 0, okay. Again the next cycle starts, it goes to the peak, again it reaches the 0, again it is increases in the negative direction, it reaches the negative peak, again it goes to 0. And then again you mark it for next wave, this is for positive peak, this is for 0, this is for negative peak, this is for 0. So like that draw the marking, there would not be any error at all. So it goes to the peak, again it comes to 0, again it goes to the negative peak and then it goes to 0. So a sinusoidal waveform is drawn. So this is the AC input which is given across the primary of the transformer. This is sinusoidal in nature. Now we are going to draw the waveform of the output that is DC waveform of the output. How to draw this? Again we have to draw the x axis, very interesting one, very practical one. Okay. Again you have to draw the y axis. Here in the case of half wave rectifier, half of the input wave is rectified. The lower part of the wave is not rectified. Are you clear? So what you have to do now? You have to draw some extending line from the upper graph. That is very important. From this point, extend the line. From this point also, extend the line. From this point also, extend the line. From this point also, extend the line. Why I am giving much preference to teach this waveform is most of the student they are committing error while drawing the waveform. That is why I am giving much preference to this. Are you clear? Now the lower part of the wave is not rectified, it would not appear in the form of output. The upper part of the wave alone will clear to be drawn. That is why this is called as half wave rectifier. Now you put the marking here, this one can be called as VO, VO means V output, that one will appear in the form of DC. So this part of the wave alone must be drawn, look at here. This one would not be appearing in the waveform, this part is not rectified, half of the AC alone is rectified that is converted into DC, this part alone must be drawn, the lower part is not rectified, this upper part positive side alone is rectified, that is why this is called as half wave rectifier. This is also drawn between time and output voltage. So this is the waveform of which one? Half wave rectifier. You are giving the input in the form of alternating voltage, but you are getting the voltage in the form of DC. This is not a pure DC, are you clear? It is partially it is rectified. That is why this is called as half wave rectifier. Okay. Thank you.